This is my prototype flying car. And this is Mario Kart. Flying car, Mario Kart. Do you see the resemblance? Today, I'm gonna to be doing some experimentation to see just how well the glider from Mario Kart flies in real life. Because I think Mario Kart could be the solution to flying cars. This ended up being so much fun and I learned a ton about this type of wing. So make sure you stay to the end to see what my next flying car will look like and how I'm gonna design a mechanism that will basically mimic the pop-out glider from Mario Kart. And hopefully I can use what I learned from this Regalo wing experiment to do that. All right, now let's go build this thing. How do you make a regalo wing? So I actually got the inspiration for this from watching a flight test video the other day where they were building some regalo wing airplanes. And over the summer at Flight Fest, this guy, Cooper Thompson, had a giant regalo wing airplane. Let's just make it big. And it was awesome. My favorite type of planes are slow and uncontrollable. And that's exactly what a regalo wing airplane is. And yeah, the regalo wing looks exactly like the glider from Mario Kart. All of this made me think that the Regalo wing might actually be a very good solution for my flying car. <laughs> Some of the problems I was having with the flying car were that the wings were very wobbly. That's because of the swing wing mechanism. And those long, humongous leverage arms were just begging to be cracked off. So it really wasn't that durable. <laughs> And even though the swing wing made the wings retract, I still really wasn't happy with how compact it ended up being. Oh yeah, dude. look at that! Look at that! And so, with this regalo wing mechanism, if it turns out to be a good wing, I think I'll be able to design a mechanism that is super, super compact. There we go. And basically works exactly like an umbrella. And because the wing is made of fabric, yeah, I should be able to make it super, super compact. I also think it'll catch a ton of air way more than the wings did. Oh, that's slow. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Good. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Oh, it's dark outside though. I can't fly it. Or can I? <laughs> wait, 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 before I fly this thing out in the middle of the night, I want to show you something. So since it's beginning to be winter time now and getting cold, I actually have this new hoodie and I'm so excited about it. It looks so cool and it's super comfortable. So if you guys would like to support me, this would be one of the best ways possible. Well, I hope you guys like it. All right, so now let's go fly this thing out in the middle of the night. <laughs> I wonder what that footage is going to look like. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> you actually fly it pretty fast, too. Let's see how fast I can make it go. <laughs> oh, yeah, with some more power. This thing is gonna be fun, dude. Let's climb. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Here, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Oh yeah, this is my kind of airplane. This is my kind of airplane. I like slow stuff. And honestly, the less maneuverable it is, the more fun. Oh man, imagine if this was a flying car and it flew at least this good, if not better. I'd be so happy. Yeah, with two motors, a twin motor setup, even now, it's like, it's pretty good just like how it is. Dude, flying at night is one of the coolest things ever. Let's see a glide. Yo! <laughs> Alright, let's chase it. Yes! <laughs> oh, not the tree. <laughs> Perfect landing. Oh, oh. Oh, 
I did not see that. I did not see that until I turned around. What? Oh my God. This is angelic. This is angelic. What in the world? Dude, what? That might be my thumbnail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I literally was completely clueless until I turned around. Oh my gosh. Let's fly into the rainbow. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Oops, I just did a barrel roll. Some altitude, yes. Oh, oh no! Uh... <laughs> I do think I want to put a little put a bigger, bigger motor. I bigger think. motor, bigger way. prop on the front. So everything up to this point was actually before the offset winged airplane. We got the faster motor. Let me see how it flies. What happened? I had the rudders over here. Not over here. All I have is the rudder. I don't have ailerons. Oh. <laughs> oh. That time I forgot to put my hand on the elevator. Oh yeah. It's so much better with the new motor. But I'm turning right. I'm turning right. <laughs> I'm turning right <laughs> this would be awesome with the with the car underneath of it. Because then the focus would be more on the car than the airplane. You're just trying to get me dizzy, aren't you? <laughs> Bob's down, Bob's down. Bob's on the ground! Now you're just messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get some more interesting Let's see if we can like go in between the <laughs> you do that on purpose, right? <laughs> All right, there you go. Amazing. <laughs> oh, the wind's kicking up now. See, that would have been awesome if there was a car on your... Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so that would have been awesome if there was a car underneath of it. <laughs> okay, land it, turn it around, take it off again. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go right now. Oh, dang. Oh, it's coming down. Good Lord. <laughs> okay, it's not a good glider. <laughs> nope. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so what is the verdict? Well, that was awesome. First of all, we're gallowing airplanes, so awesome. I'm gonna have to build another one that's really good. But what about the flying car? Well, I actually did a couple more experiments after all this, and I learned a lot. One is that bed sheets are not good enough for the wing. I actually ended up replacing the bed sheet with a trash bag, which holds a lot more air, a lot better, and it created so much more lift. So that's really important. The other thing I learned is that the frame really, really does have to be 80, and then the fabric needs to be 90 degrees. And that was actually really important because when I replaced it with the trash bag, I really didn't measure 90 perfectly and it ended up flying awful. And I crashed it like a hundred times. Uh oh. <laughs> But even though the wing was messed up, it still flew a lot better because I could tell it was holding a lot more air in. So yeah, after all that, the verdict is I'm absolutely going forward with this idea of the flying car. It's just too enticing. And the experiment was successful and I learned a lot. And I really do think that the regala wing is gonna be perfect for the flying car. So like I said earlier, the mechanism I'm gonna be using is gonna be just like an umbrella. So, I want, so I'm gonna have a hinge right up at the top of the regala wing frame that will allow it to open up and close. And then the support beam that's usually right in between the two arrows is what's gonna make it open and close. It's basically just gonna be two arms that come out and in like this and they have elbows here that fold in and out. 
and I think that's gonna be really strong and hold up a lot better than just regular old wings on the car. And I think it's gonna be super durable. One of the things I'm most excited about with this was that on the first flying car, I really wanted to hit its top maximum speed, like 70 miles an hour, open the wings, and I just wanted it to take off in the air. But that never happened. I actually had to use the ramp. But with this regalo wing, I think it's gonna catch a ton more air, and maybe I can even have a mechanism that makes the angle of the wing variable. So then I could angle it back, and when it opens up, it would just yank the car right out of the sky. And because I think it's gonna be so compact, I can actually make the wing really big. And so maybe it will actually fly like really good. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. And if you guys are too, please subscribe so that you can see where I go with this in the future. Because I'm really excited about this and I'm not gonna stop until I have a really good flying car. And I know, flying cars are just really not practical. And I don't know if they'll ever be practical. Even if we had magic anti-gravity, I don't know if it'd be practical. I really think a flying car will be at its best as a sport. Like if this really does turn out really good when I go to do it, I think you could see a company like Red Bull making something like that and doing some crazy stunt, like jumping a car over the Grand Canyon. So yeah, that's my vision for this and I'm really excited. And I hope you guys are too. And I can't wait to bring you guys along on the journey with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.